Okay, uh, I've got the recording going. Uh, first of all, I want to start out by letting everybody know that, <clears throat> excuse me, so far this month, we've got 10 new ambassadors. So uh, congratulations to everyone that is has been signing up ambassadors and everything. Uh, you know, just keep doing what you're doing. Uh, also, don't forget, uh, let's see, today is the ninth. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six more days uh, that the free code can be used. Uh, so if you need a free code, I believe there's uh, some available because we had 29 new ambassadors that signed up last month. And I know that we did a post in the uh, heart group and I believe a, a couple of people have actually shared uh, their codes uh, in that post. Now, if you're unassured that that uh, code has been used, you can actually call Plexus because uh, I had somebody the other day that uh, had a code and they wanted to make sure that the code was good before they got on the, uh, the so we did a three-way phone call. So they wanted to make sure that the code was good before we signed up the ambassador. So it was what I did, I called Plexus and I just asked them, I said, hey, can you look up this code and just make sure that it is a good code uh, before we go any further and everything? And they said, sure. So I gave them the code, they looked it up and they said, yep, the code is still good. So uh, that's one thing that you can do if you've got anybody that's interested, be sure to go on that post, find one of those codes and then call Plexus real quick and say, hey, is this code still good? And they'll tell you yes or no. Uh, so, and I just learned that the other day whenever that uh, came up. Um, okay, another thing uh, is uh, real quick, you know, I'm going to uh, kind of paint a picture for you guys. You know, uh, Greg and I, we've been doing plexes now for six years. And, uh, you know, uh, in the beginning and stuff, you know, we had some real heavy hitters and stuff. Uh, and some of our heavy hitters, they had a couple little issues that, uh, like one of them went through, a couple of them went through nasty divorce. and. So they, you know, they kind of let life get in the way and everything, and then they just kind of fell off the map. One thing that's good about that, uh, one of the girls actually just came back to me the other day. Uh, now, her account is no longer active, so she is just going to be a customer under me for now. So uh, anyway, but it's what I was getting at is, uh, you know, uh, you want to just keep, you know, stay on track, keep building your business, keep signing up those top level ambassadors. Don't ever give up. Uh, you know, don't give up on people, you know, keep reaching out to people and also don't uh, give up on your program and stuff. So uh, anyway, high five. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, anyway, like she said, you got this. So that's awesome. But uh, anyway, so uh, like I say, everybody just keep doing what you're doing. Keep reaching out to people and all that. So um, one of the things that I want to talk to you guys about tonight is uh, for instance, uh, this has happened to me a lot and it, I think it's happened to a couple other people and people have actually reached out to me and asked me questions if they could do this. Uh, if you've got somebody that reaches out to you and they actually want to sign up as an ambassador or they want to become a subscribed customer and they flat out tell you that they're, they don't have the computer experience or something like that, uh, you can offer to uh, do that for them. Uh, I have actually done that for several people. Uh, is what I tell people when I'm signing them up, uh, you know, I've got them on the telephone, I'm walking them through the process, and I just flat out let them know that I am going to type in the information as they give it to me, and that way I have no card uh, information of theirs or anything like that. I just type it in um, as they give it to me and stuff. So, uh, you know, you can offer to do that for people, and, you know, it really helps them out and stuff. Another thing that, uh, that I do do whenever I help people sign up as a customer or an ambassador is what I do is I do let them know that I'm going to keep their email address and I'm going to keep their password. And the reason I let them know that I'm going to do that is because if they need help, if they need me to place another order, if they need me to edit their order, whatever they need, I'm going to be there for them. Uh, another thing is what I have a folder with everybody that I take care of their account. So you want to have you a folder write their name, their email address, and their password. That way you're able to get back into their account. Uh, I do also have a calendar that's in front of me right up here and uh, is what I do. The people that I take care of their accounts, I write the date that I signed them up. And then the next month is what I do is I raise my calendar up and then I write down again to be sure to follow up with them, usually about a week or so before their order goes out. So that that way, uh, you know, I can, you know, make sure that if I need to edit their order or whatever I need to help them with uh, and everything. So, uh, 
you know, that's something that's very important. If you've got anybody that needs your help, feel free to, you know, uh, offer that suggestion to them that you will definitely help them out. Um, okay. So, um, another thing that I want to talk to you about, I know I've talked to, uh, I've mentioned this before, uh, but you know, we've got a lot of new ambassadors. Uh, we've got, um, oh my God, probably close to 200 new ambassadors since the beginning of the year in our downline. Uh, so, uh, one thing that, uh, that, I, and I talk about this and, uh, people that are under a hundred, uh, PV, uh, you know, cause you want your people to get over a hundred PV so that they'll be commission qualified. And so that, uh, you know, you get paid those points and everything. So when you're getting close to the end of the month, uh, you can actually go on your report. You can click on, uh, your points and rank. And when you click on that, it's going to uh, pull up everybody that's in your downline. And then there's a little uh, square that says, uh, people that are over a hundred PV, people that are under a hundred PV and people that are, have not ordered anything. So as what you can do, you can click on that little report that says people under a hundred PV. Uh, if you've got somebody that's, uh, like say they're at 95 PV, uh, the thing that we do, if they're on our top three levels, uh, is what we do. We reach out to them and we say, Hey, we make a suggestion. We say, Hey, okay, you're, you're $5 away from going over hundred PV. Uh, you know, if you ordered a, uh, three day trial pack or a seven day trial pack that will actually get you over. And then, uh, you can use that trial pack as a, you know, contest giveaway. Uh, and so you want to try to make suggestions. Another thing you can do is you can go back and look at their order history, uh, and you can see what they've been ordering in the past. And in order to see that is you want to, uh, you know, look at your downline, look at their, um, uh, um, uh, if, you know, if they've ordered, it'll, it'll be highlighted in blue. You can click on that and then uh, you can see what they've been ordering. Uh, another thing, if you want to see what they ordered the month before, you can change the date to like, this is May. You could change it to April and then you could see, uh, click on and see what they ordered the month before. So you can make suggestions on that. Like, you know, say that they ordered the, the, the Metaburn one month and they didn't order the next, you can say, Hey, do you need Metaburn? Or, you know, just kind of make suggestions for them to help try to get them over that. Uh, another thing that you can do if you've got somebody that flat out tells you, you know, Hey, I, you know, I can't order anything to get me over that 100 PV. You can ask them and say, Hey, you know, um, if you want, I can, if you want to give me your username and password, I can go on your website and I can order something and have it sent to me. And, you know, it'll help get you over that 100 PV. And then that way they'll be commission qualified. Uh, you know, I have done that a couple times. Uh, and now when you do something like that, uh, you can't really pay with your credit card. So uh, I use PayPal. Uh, and so uh, that way, and then is what you want to do. You want to go in, go on their account, set up your address real quick, uh, you know, under their address book. And then uh, now it's, is what it's going to do. It's going to say that it's shipping it to their name, but it's going to have your address. So as what I do is I put in care of Donald Bishop, you know, and then that way I know that it reaches me and it has reached me every time by doing it that way. Uh, and then like say use PayPal because you know, that it's just an easier way to, you don't have to put your card information on their account. Uh, a lot of times if I do that, sometimes I'll just go in and I'll go back after I place the order, then I'll go back in and I'll just delete, uh, my address from their address book. Uh, so anyway, but that's just something you can do if, you know, to help try to get them over the hundred PV if they say that they can't do it. Uh, another thing that, uh, that it's really important to do is, uh, Follow up with your customers. If you have customers, uh, the way you find your customers is you go on your virtual office, you look at your current PV, you click on that, and then it's going to show all of your customers uh, that you have. Now, uh, in order to, uh, is what I do to see if people still have their subscription turned on, uh, on my customer report, you can go click, go over to where it says subscription. You can click on the word subscription, and then it's what it's going to do. It's going to put it's going to start everybody with the, you know, nothing, but if you click on it the second time, then it'll put everybody that is ordering. If their subscription is turned on, it'll put them in order. So uh, that way you can look and see if uh, their subscription is turned off or turned on. And if, if you notice that you've had a customer that has been ordering and they've been loving their Plexus products and they don't have a subscription turned on, then is what we do. We simply just reach out to them and make sure that everything's okay. And sometimes they'll say, yes, everything's okay. I just want to, you know, go in and do a one-time order and just do it that way. So, you know, that's totally fine if they do it that way. 
but it, it's very important to do follow-ups with your customers and stuff. So um, the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is, you know, Plexus has the incentive going on this week. It's called the 369 incentive. Uh, if you sign up three ambassadors, uh, Plexus is going to give you a Bluetooth water bottle. Uh, if you sign up six ambassadors, they're going to give you the Bluetooth water bottle, and they're also going to give you a $200 uh, Lululemon or a uh, Class Pass fitness card. Now, the I didn't know what uh, Lululemon was. I had to ask because I'm like, Lululemon, I've never heard of it. So anyway, is what it is, it's like, I guess, workout clothes and stuff. So uh, now the uh, Class Pass fitness card is what that is is you can use that to, uh, they said, to go into any uh, fitness place and use that card to go in and work out. You don't have to have a membership, you can just use that card. And it's a $200 card, so I guess whatever they charge you for that to go in, then I guess they deduct it off that card and stuff. So anyway, uh, and then the if you sign up nine ambassadors, you win the Bluetooth water bottle, the $200 gift card, and a Series 4 Apple Watch. So, uh, Anyway, now, you know, uh, you know, the key is not to, I mean, it's not all about the prizes and stuff. You know, the prizes are very nice. We appreciate the prizes that Plexus gives us and everything. But the key is, you know, working your business, uh, building a team, uh, you know, working with getting those top level ambassadors, making sure you do follow ups, you know, different things like that. It's, it's very important to you know, try to go silver every month. And now when I say go silver every month, I'm just talking about uh, signing up three ambassadors on your top level every month. So that way, you know, if you keep signing up people on your top level ambassador, you, you're building a strong, outside, uh, strong leg, and then you know, it, it helps build your outside leg to build your points and stuff like that to get you to the next level. Um, uh, now, you know, uh, one thing that I, you know, you, I tried, I, tell people this a lot is, you know, if you're not uh, building a team, don't get frustrated, you guys, because, you know, we have months that, that, that we don't get ambassadors. So we don't let it frustrate us. We just keep plugging on. Uh, you just got to keep, you know, posting and, you know, getting the word out there so you can, you know, bring in those new uh, uh, potentials, uh, start, you know, continue, keep building your Facebook friends. That's very important. And then just keep going and everything. Okay, so now, uh, as you all know, convention is coming up next month. Uh, convention is from June the 17th through the 21st. We have a lot of new people that are going to convention this year for the first time, so we're very excited to have all of you guys join us and everything. Now, uh, if you're not going to convention, we encourage you guys to uh, be sure to follow all of us and uh, you know keep, keep in touch and watch everything that's going on and watch the groups because uh, we will be doing live videos. We will be doing posting. We will let you guys know what all is going on. You know, there's going to be a lot of new, uh, there's going to be some announcements. And every year, Plexus comes out with new products. So uh, just be on the lookout, be watching, uh, you know, following your, you know, all of us ambassadors and see what's going on during that time. Because like I say, we will try to keep you guys posted with everything that's going on. Uh, that's one thing that like with, with Greg and I, you know, Greg don't go to the convention. I go. So is what I do is I try my best to, when I hear an announcement, I let him know immediately so that that way, if I'm having problems with the internet, he can post it and keep everybody posted. So, uh, and everything. Okay, now, uh, let's see. Uh, one of the challenges that we're gonna have this month, it's gonna be an Instagram, uh, Instagram challenge. Uh, now, uh, some, peop some of you people may not have Instagram accounts, uh, so, you know, it's, it's very important because one thing that Greg and I have noticed that the more that uh, we utilize Instagram, it seems like, uh, you know, we start getting a few more Facebook friends. We start, uh, you know, uh, getting more leads and different things like that because the thing that, that, we, that we try to do and something that I've failed in the last couple of weeks is we try to, everything that we post on Facebook, we try to post it on Instagram. Not everything, but, you know, a lot of the good stuff. We post a lot of... You know, we, I, I try to post things about, you know, the family and the things that are going on with the dogs, different things like that. So you definitely want to do, you know, you know, keep your Instagram just fun like you do with your Facebook page. Uh, now, if you do not have an Instagram account and you want to set one up, uh, feel free to send me a message and let me know. And, you know, I'll try to help you, you know, set one up uh, and everything. So, uh, 
Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, okay, one other thing that I wanna talk about real quick. Uh, oh, and I forgot to mention this at the very beginning. Uh, once I get through with the things that I'm doing here, uh, uh, I'm going to uh, unmute Christy real quick because if you guys have not seen it, you know, Christy did, we asked her to, uh, you know, we are actually, we asked people a lot to do different videos in the team to kind of help inspire. Uh, we have, uh, you know, Sunshine does uh, weekly videos. Uh, Kim Matthews does videos for us. Uh, Lola, uh, Karen Cruz Smith. Uh, and if you ever want to do like a motivational video, please reach out to us, let us know. And, you know, yeah, you're more than happy to go on in the team and do emotional, uh, uh, I can't even talk, emotional. Uh, if you want to do an emotional video, you can do an emotional video too. Inspirational videos. <laughs> anyway, but uh, Christy did a really good video last week. And if you want to watch her video, it's called Inspiration at Its Finest. So I uh, was very proud of her. So it's what I'm going to do is here in a minute, I'm going to open up to her. And then uh, that way she can just kind of go over and just kind of talk about what she talked about real quick. And then one last thing I want to talk to you guys about. Uh, you know, a lot of ambassadors, a lot of times they will do giveaways on their Facebook page. So when you see people doing uh, uh, giveaways on their Facebook page, uh, we encourage you guys to go on there and, you know, and post in there and say, hey, uh, let people know what Plexus has done for you because it draws attention to their post. Now, uh, you know, a lot of times you cannot participate on the ambassador's uh, you know, giveaways because they're doing it for their potential customers or potential ambassadors and stuff. But, you know, it's okay to go in there and, you know, let people know what Plexus has done for you so that that way it'll help, you know, maybe get them some, you know, uh, some, some things going on their uh, giveaway page. So uh, anyway, but uh, that's pretty much it for that. And so right now I am going to open it up to Christy real quick and uh, just let her kind of uh, tell us a little bit of what uh, you know she talked about in her video and stuff real quick. So are you ready, Christy? Let me see if it'll let me unmute you real quick. It won't let me unmute you. So can you unmute yourself? I think you're frozen. Can you hear me? Yeah, there you go. Can you hear me now? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so real quick, uh, just kind of, you know, uh, talk about what you did in your video, talk about, you know, how you're building your business and, uh, you know, just uh, tell us about the, the gold ambassador thing. Well, I like this. What was that? I was gonna say, I like to share this with my team. This is one thing I always tell them. Pro any progress is still progress. You know, someone mentioned that they're still silver after four years, but they have customers. Whereas I don't have a strong customer foundation. You know what I'm saying? So I always say, as long as we're progressing, we're going forward. And that's what I tell them, never give up, you know. And the other thing, too, was is that I definitely do try to duplicate what, you know, you and, and Greg share all the time. And, and, and what the company stands for, when blessed be a blessing. You know, if it wasn't for my sister-in-law, and I know we can't do this for everybody, what I'm about to say. But my sister-in-law, my story is, is that she sent me one month's worth of the triplex combo and even then it sat on my counter for a month you know what i'm saying because that was how custom is i was like i'm not trying that it isn't gonna work nothing else works for me why would this so my my passion is and my husband has to reel me in a lot is that i want to do that for other people um but i have to remember that whatever i do for someone else i cannot have expectations attached to that I cannot, you know, and I also put boundaries on myself for if I do try to bless someone, whether it be just with a free probiotic or a whole triplex combo or whatever it is. Okay, so first things first is not to have expectations and to do it from a clear motive of genuinely just wanting to help someone. But I also have to have boundaries because I will spend everything I earn on Plexus to give back. <laughs> And I get a little out of hand. So one of the things that I've made a commitment to myself is when I decide to help someone, like my sister-in-law helped me, what like that, I will not second month. 
they have to see that, you know, it will work for them. And if they decide then that they want it, and I'm speaking, you know, experience that I am poverty level, you know, and y'all kept telling me, you know, or y'all kept posting that there's a way to earn and there's a way to earn. And I kept thinking, I'm not selling this. You know, I had fear. I had fear of losing everything that I had obtained in the past six, seven years, you know, for fear of earning money, then I would lose everything that I had helped with the government. But I have learned through experience that if someone wants something bad enough, they'll find a way. And, you know, I did. So that's the one thing I duplicate what y'all say. Um, what really stood out to me, though, in your video, because, of course, you know, I can't afford to do $50 giveaways and a lot of gift giveaways. And I would do what I commonly did for many months on my ambassador team is I would do a $30 um, giveaway and how people, it was a it was called a PV giveaway. So anybody who had 100 PV by the end of the month was entered into the straw. And, and the reason why I did that is because I wanted to include people who didn't work the business, but still help maintain my business you understand what i'm saying right. so i had learned to change that and that's all i could afford in the beginning you know what i'm saying but now when you say that i don't remember if it was or both but you said the 10 minute back that you make to put back into your business be a blessing to other people that really i mean like that gave me direction i like direction i don't like to be left out in the waters trying to figure out stuff on my own sometimes and that just like a light bulb moment went off because I'm starting to, because sometimes I can get away from myself with giveaways too. I will overextend myself. Right. So that gives me a plan. That gives me a layout of how to give back without harming myself, you know, because I'm, I'm still, I'm coming, I'm crawling out of poverty, y'all. I'm getting there. You know, <laughs> it took me 10 months to go gold. And I'm looking at my back office, and do you know that on my whole team, technically, I have like 65 people. Now, not everybody orders, though. So right. I made mistakes in the beginning. I lost some people in the beginning, and that's fine. But the one thing I kept telling people is, you know, I remember saying last year, I'm going to go Ruby by December. I'm going to be off of disability, <laughs> and I'm going to this, and I'm going to that, and I really believed it, okay? But I'm okay that I'm not because I still progressed. And I had y'all backing me up. And, you know, that, like you said, message people. And one thing I try to do, I'm not a good note taker. I do take notes. I'll tape them to my wall if I really need to remember it. But, um, you know, that, like, Kim and Carlina and Karen, you do, y'all take really good notes. Like, y'all can think this out and plan it. But can y'all believe that I'm going to tell on myself a little bit here? And I'm not trying to, this is just my experience. I've never opened up the book that came in the welcome pack. <laughs> you know, that little book that people answer all the questions <laughs> and it guides you on how to be a proper ambassador. I've never done that. Now, I did obsessively search out YouTube videos in the beginning. I talked to you and Karen in the beginning a lot. You know, we did, y'all, I watched every video y'all posted in the beginning, and that stuff helped me. You know what I'm saying? I go more on the emotional relationship end. Right. But I even had to learn how to grow that, too, because, see, I had a problem in the beginning. I had the superhero complex where I was like, I'm going to save the world. <laughs> if everybody would just listen to me, I would save the world. Right. Do you know, I just had a fight this week. Um, I got a little upset, like heartbroken because my dad is, is an unhealthy man. He has type two diabetes. He has, he's a, a survivor of, uh, is it prostate? prostate cancer basically he has health issues and I couldn't understand I started to get down on myself and I might cry so forgive me if I do that's okay I couldn't understand how how over 40 people could allow me to help them get healthier but I can't even get my own father to say yes 
and I was sharing this with someone. I was sharing it with my husband, and and of course I decided I needed to get off of that train of thought and get on the thought on that train of gratitude. You know, thank God people like Holly and Amy and Kristen and Polly, Polly, Holly. You know, all <laughs> those people said yes. You know, if I focus on all the no's I got and how it hurt my feelings. I would, I would give up. I would be like, why am I doing this? Cause my right. intentions was to do this for, for my family. Yeah. You know, I never intended to work this business. I just wanted to help my family get healthier, you know? Um, but I share and I learned to share. Y'all tell us, reach out to us. If you got something to say, or you worrying about something, I have learned a problem shared is half a problem. So I shared with my husband. I shared with one of my sisters. Well, you know what my sister gave me insight on? I have a lot of kids, y'all. I do plexus. One does the keto diet. The other one does young living. You know what I'm saying? So he's got people coming at him at every angle trying to save his life. And it's overwhelming. And we're pushing. And he doesn't want to hurt someone's feelings. And that being able to share that problem and come into peace that, you know, I, I'm reminded of how Lori always has us cry. And that's what I'm starting to tell my team. You know, I don't do a list of 50. I do little lists at a time. You know, right. I pray to God to show, to show, to guide me to the people and the people to me that need this the most, you know, that it's in his hands. And when I put that faith and that trust in him, it's kind of creepy, y'all. I did that one day, today I woke up, and I had a new Triplex customer, a new ambassador, and a potentially new ambassador. So every time I try to pick up the superhero mantle, I have to at the feet of God and say, it's not me, it's him. It's through him that I can do this for other people. So I don't know if I kind of got off of no hey girl you did great that's totally totally perfect yeah i do have oh. well i was gonna say i do try to duplicate what you and greg do so like this month i've been able to do instead of one giveaway i'm doing two and i do the 100 pb i think i'm gonna do that i can't remember but you know like sometimes i give away products that basically you know there's a there's a combo that you get a lot like it's a family essentials pack or something well i don't use kids x factor so i'm gonna do that as a giveaway i basically got that product for free right you know so i'm gonna do that as a giveaway and i remember getting that stuff i forget sometimes what it was like in the beginning but I'm going to tell you what, when y'all gave away free products to a poor girl like me who could only afford the triplex in the beginning, a free bottle of X Factor changed my life. Right. Yep. Yep. So true. So true. And then, you know, that's one of the reasons too, that, that sometimes when we do the product giveaways is because uh, sometimes it just takes that one product to be in somebody's hands to change their life and to get them started and everything. I mean, seriously. So, and then, you know, like, you know, in the beginning, kind of like Christy said, you know, we started out slow. We started out giving, you know, $20 or, you know what I mean? Or $25 for the most ambassadors and stuff. And so we gradually worked our way up as we started building a team and everything. So, you know, that's, I mean, that's totally fine is to start out slow. You know, we don't expect everybody to jump right in there and, you know, you know, give all this stuff at once and everything, but, you know, uh, it, it does help keep your team motivated when you're able to, you know, do little things for them when you can and stuff. So uh, one thing I wanted you to, to explain to us real quick, or not explain to us, but say to us real quick, uh, you, in your video the other day, you was talking about, um, uh, you saw a gold ambassador, I believe a webinar and you was talking about, yeah, can you yes. yeah, go through that with us real quick? Okay. So, that was really good too. Okay, so I reiterate, I have a problem with long-term um, ability to pay attention. That's why I don't watch every video that's put out there anymore. I'm not a researcher. Thank you, Krista. I feel so, I'm glad you raised your hand because it sucks when you feel like you're alone, but we're not alone. You know what I'm saying? We're not unique. <laughs> Someone else has done it before. So anyways, I did log into the um, Gold Ambassador webinar that uh, was sent through me through a Plexus email. And the most powerful thing I got was, okay, for example, Donna, I must say to you, 
Hey, Don, I just ranked up to Ruby. What's the mental image that just came into your head? Um, a picture of a Ruby? Right. Now, if I say to you, oh my gosh, Don, I just ranked up because I helped a lot of my friends and family and even strangers that are becoming friends get healthier. What's the image that pops in your head? Uh, now I see all the people that you helped get happy and healthy. Okay, so for me, when they said that, I didn't see their people. I saw people I could. Right, I right, yeah, or, yeah. Right, so, I mean, everybody's image could be either or. It's the same concept. Right, right. I no longer thought about a jewel, a materialistic thing that really makes no sense to me. So now I've learned that when I do share about ranking up, of course, I'll probably still say I've got gold because my plexus people will understand that. However, through conversation and other posts, you know, when we share the blessings that we've been blessed with, one of my things is, is I, I was inspired to share my husband's story. And the question I had asked my team, and this was in my team, I don't think I posted it on my Facebook wall. Excuse me one moment. Sorry. Um, one thing I asked my team, and this is how this training video helps me, was to ask my team, this isn't about 50 people. This isn't about a huge list for me. Let, it is me asking them, can you think of three people that you want to help? You know, my husband is my best friend. And when I thought about helping someone first, it was my husband, my mama, and my nana, and some aunts. That was who I wanted to help, you know. My husband is, um, he has the diagnosis of pericarditis. Um, we both do have the diagnosis of mental health disease. Uh, we each, there were some other issues, you know what I'm saying? The symptoms, there were symptoms. And I got really, really worried when I started seeing that he was showing signs of confusion and dizziness and weakness. And, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, like I just found my best friend and I just married him and I don't want to lose him in plexus. You know, that's how we think about it. Right, right. Whereas if I'm thinking about, oh, all I'm thinking about is, oh, I'm going to put some rubies on this hand. You know, that's my first thing, no. <laughs> right. So that's the whole concept is I try to get to people is I share the story. I posted a picture of me and my husband. And I asked people, I said, you know, if you could share with three people, nothing more, three of your best friends or loved ones, who would it be? And I get them challenged to thinking and picturing who, who they're wanting to help instead of thinking in the concepts of let's rank up. I mean, I know that's motivational. You know, there's, there is motivation for each and every kind of person. You know, for someone like me, and I'm going to assume Krista, who doesn't do the research, reading, and the spending hours we're gonna listen to you for a few moments and we're gonna take away from that how we can apply this new behavior into our life to help someone else and i can apply best by sharing experience strength and hope now someone like my sister-in-law if i come across the cup this is another thing i tell my team everyone is valuable you know my downline had more information than i did Amy Bragg Hodge, okay, she has a, a rare, it's CBID, you'll have to Google it, it's a rare, common rare autoimmune deficiency of some sort, and she scared me in the beginning, like, as far as, like, when I shared with her, I wasn't sure that Plexus could help her, right. and she knew about supplements, she knew about vitamins and all this stuff. And you know what I did? I utilized my sister, Karen, my sister-in-law, Karen. She's the product guru. I'm not. So I've even in the first month of signing up Amy last year, when I was talking to a new customer, I asked for her help. You know, we talk about going to the upline, but even our downline can help us. We exactly. Each strength and a weakness that can help one another out. So I think of my sideline. I don't like that term, downline, sideline, upline. I really think this as all equals and capable of helping one another you know i've had people like y'all did from other teams that'll say hey do you mind helping one of my customers because my experience made them think of their customers experience and so i reached out and do that to people too i'm so grateful for you and dawn if that isn't is if that isn't clear i'm very thankful that y'all taught us to share unapologetically you know 
even the stuff that makes me uncomfortable to talk about, like I could talk about being poor, but it's hard for me to talk about and rejoice in earning money. Because then I get over paranoid that someone thinks I'm in it for the money. But y'all help me with that. I share that with y'all. And you said, first of all, share unapologetically and share tastefully. Someone else is not paying my bills. And I have right. to get comfort. I get outside of my comfort zone when I do share a post online that says, hey, I just ranked up. Or, hey, I just, you know, because of Plexus, I was able to get my daughter a prom dress this year. I was able to get her sister flown up for her graduation. You right. know, I couldn't do those things before Plexus. And that's why I'm passionate about sharing it with other people. You know, I love my dad, but you know, boys, and I get it. It's a lot of coming information. And all I got to do is I that fear go, try not to call it and just pray. And meanwhile, keep plugging along to help someone else who, like me, needed this in their hands. Exactly. Very, very good. Very well said. You know, and, and, and that's one thing that, that we tell everybody, you guys, share unapologetic, unapologetically. I can't even talk, uh, you know, because there may be somebody out there that's watching you that, you know, you may be able to change their life just like Plexus has changed your life, uh, you know, and then you, you just can't give up. You just, you know, and even though you may not be having uh, the business, uh, you know, coming to you right now, as long as you share unapologetically and share your story, share your friend's stories and stuff like that, you know, people are going to come to you because that's one thing we've had people that have been following us for five years, for four years, for three years, and they're just now coming around. They're saying, Oh my God. Okay. You know, I I've been watching you guys. I'm ready to do this. So, you know, you've just got to just keep doing it. If you love these products as much as we do and as you know, if they're helping you, you got to put that out there. You got to let people know, let people know what it's doing for you. Let people know it's changing your life. For instance, with me, when I started, you guys, I, I lost my job three months after I started Plexus. And so, you know, I started sharing my story with everybody and my business grew. And I mean, now it's grown to where, you know, I don't have to get another job because, you know, it, it, you know, and, and I've helped so many people, so many friends and family. So I, I think of it that way. I think of all the people that I've helped, helped. And so, you know, that's why you see that Greg and I, when we do these events and we do these giveaways and we do these contests, you know, like Christy said in the beginning, when you're blessed, be a blessing. And that's the way it's always been with us. We love every one of you guys on our team. We want every one of you guys to do build your team and, you know, even outrank us. I mean, it happens just like with, for instance, Greg has signed up under me. He outranked me. You know what I mean? So uh, it's totally possible for things like that to happen. So anyway, but just keep, keep going guys. Okay. What Christy? Can I, can I say, I do want to take a moment if you don't mind. And I want to say, I'm very proud of my whole team. My team already this month has signed up five new and and, you know, when you say, I want, you know, y'all did message me that and say, I want you to outrank me. You know, I still have a humanness side of me that goes, are they for real? Like, it's not a meanness, but it's like, why would you want me to outrank you? But, you know, once I get past that initial humanness and I get into the spirit, and that's what we are. We're connected spiritually. Whatever your belief system is, God, Buddha, whatever. Spiritually, we are connected, and we all have the same goal, and it is so exciting. Let me just tell you how exciting it really is. It's taken me 10 months to get here, and I've got girls on my team who love to share, and they struggle with signing up people to pick, and it's just going to take time, but it is so exciting. Like Now I know how you and Dawn feel when you start seeing your team members signing people up and those people are sharing and they're feeling passionate, you know, like I've got, I'm going to pronounce it Rochelle. Cause I had a friend that spoke her name like yours. I don't know if it's Rachel or Rochelle. I don't know her personally yet, but because people on my team decided to share. Now I have new people in my circle that I get time to get to know. And I can see how happy she is when she shares and how much these products change her life. I literally, every time Holly and Brandy and Amy and someone sign up someone, I'm almost in tears every day. And yeah. it's really cool. I think Lori had talked about it 
residual income to the side. Now that is nice, y'all. Don't get me wrong, but uh, it's really awesome to see other people like, oh, getting it. And yeah. I just reiterate, keep plugging along. You know, one thing I thought about too is here's what I struggled with the first six months, right? In the beginning, I was like, I got to sign them up as an ambassador, 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 $25 bonus, ambassador. And then I'm like, mm, but if they don't stick with it for more than a month, then I'm not really saving them money. Exactly. Then TV customer. Then they came out. <laughs> I kind of had figured it all out, right? And then they come along with what was it? March Madness. Uh -huh. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, with an opportunity like this where you can sign them up for free, they got to be an ambassador. And I'm going to tell y'all, I'm sharing this insanity that goes in my head just to prove that anybody can do this, okay? I am still, I'm not a professional. <laughs> and I still struggle. Which way do I go? Which way do I go? Right now? I'm in that mindset of get them as an ambassador because then that means another ambassador can't get them. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know? yeah. I don't know if that's healthy. I pray about it all the time, but um, it was really cool. I had another girl who quit due to finances for about four to six months. I can't really remember. And you, do you know her watching? I mean, she's my friend. She's been watching. Holly watched for 10 months to a, almost a year before she said yes. You know, I had one person that did it for a month and couldn't afford it no more. And now she's back at it again after a very long period. So I have learned not to delete people from the ambassador group just because they stop ordering. I think y'all had told me that one time that yes. um, as long as they're an ambassador, keep them in the team. They might see something that inspires them. It inspires them to continue. Yes. 10 months later, it did it. <laughs> yep. Yep. It happens. It happens. But uh, anyway, well, Christy, I appreciate you taking the time to talk real quick. Uh, you gave some really good pointers. And uh, uh, oh, yeah, by the way, real quick, uh, I will be doing a post in the next couple of days because um, I won winner's dinner. So it's what I'm going to do is I will have everybody that, uh, you know, earn convention credits to post their convention credits in there. So whoever has the highest convention credits will be my date at winner's dinner uh, at convention. So uh, like I say, be on the lookout for that post. It'll be coming up anytime here pretty soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the recording real quick. Oh, I hit end meeting, whoops. I hit the wrong thing. <laughs>